Hello, this is Sharealike. I'm known as Sharealike on the forums. I've been modifying DL1000 and Suzuki SV1000 clutch baskets for over five years now. Uh, first discovered what was wrong, showed everyone on the internet. Um, I've just received my fourth uh, 2014 DL1000 uh, clutch basket from an owner. That's this one here on the right. And I thought it was time I gave an update on uh, the difference between the two baskets and uh, also explain the uh, problems again. Um, this is the earlier basket from 2002 through to 2008-2009 um, and we see that the difference immediately as we see on the surface is that this plate here is uh, much thicker on the later basket and these areas here between the edges and the spring pockets are thickened. Uh, they have had problems with those breaking in the past. Uh, witness this one here. Um, so if we take the plate off the early basket, we see we've got quite a lot of um, wear on the spring pockets here where the springs have constantly chattered backwards and forwards and eaten the seats away uh, inside there. Yep. Um, these are the rivets, I've already drilled and pushed them out um, of the 2014 basket. I've not opened this basket before so it'd be a surprise to see what's inside. There will be some swarfing here from the drilling process to get the rivets out. Um, and here we are, uh, it has the same problem um, where the uh, spring seats are wearing heavily um, with the spring action. Now this is the same plate as in SV1000s and oddly enough um, SV1000s aren't doing, that, aren't doing that to their plate so uh, something peculiar here about the DL. This uh, latest one here has only done 20,000 kilometres, that's not a big distance at all really. Um, so we've got the Belleville washers inside, pardon the swarf, but uh, that's just part of the drilling out process that's uh, left those covered in that. It all gets cleaned up and so forth, it's part of the repair. Same pair of Belleville washers, so it's, I'd say they're the same thickness, um, and yeah they are they're the same thickness and uh, doing the same job. Um, here we see the set of springs in the uh, earlier basket. Uh, on the face of it, this looks like exactly the same set of springs. Um, we've got the primary spring here. Yeah, it's the same pitch and same wire diameter. Uh, we've got the secondary springs here, same colour code on them, so uh, that's probably going to prove that they're exactly the same. And uh, I can see that there is the very deep red colouring in the uh, three phase three springs that's one two three these are the phase three springs so uh, yeah in the new basket it's the same springs not badly uh, damaged uh, all in good condition on their ends um, which is typical of the uh, baskets um, notice that these springs aren't uh, overly painted or anything like that um, they are just coloured uh, for coding purposes for the manufacturer. I've seen some aftermarket uh, people copying my business and modification who are painting these springs uh, with paint. Um, stops some rattling while uh, they get back to the customer in the box but uh, of course all the paint comes off as soon as uh, the basket's fitted in the bike and uh, it's back to rattling anyway so why they paint the springs I don't know. So here we are the next big problem is that the actual uh, gear itself will rotate and without moving the springs that's because the plate underneath inside is actually working loose I'll show you that in a minute but while we're here I'll also show you that the baskets themselves are wearing this bit the bearing in the alloy piece is wearing and it lets the gear rock about like this uh, and that is the chudder that's the vibration you feel as you ride through the bike this one should do it I don't know probably not as bad just as bad. Um, not as loud probably because that's one. this one's still filled with oil whereas this one's all been cleaned out. So uh, there we are. So right I'll lift the gears off now. I'll leave the springs in place. Um, that bearing there is uh, it's usual not very well prepared self by Suzuki. Um, yep, same story in the old one as I expected. Um, and then the, this is what I was talking about earlier where the plate allows the springs to move about without driving the actual aluminium basket. I guess this one will be the same as well. Yeah, it's not eating as badly. Um, but nevertheless, that would certainly add to the vibration that you feel as you ride. 
this one's really bad. Um, don't worry about the springs not being a tight fit in the plates. That's the whole purpose. This spring is always tight. Uh, these two springs are not quite so tight. And then these three springs are very free. Uh, and that helps with phasing. The, uh, the three final springs only coming into play when there's some real heavy load on the engine. Um, so, uh, no surprises then inside. The basket's just the same. I'll get rid of those springs. And we can see that the shine, in, the shine on this plate under here is because it's spent its life chattering backwards and forwards on the face of the basket there. Um, I guess this one's going to be the same. Get rid of those springs. Lift that out. Yeah, sure enough. Um, not as polished as the other one. But uh, we can see here this bright ring around the rim. Uh, where it runs on this rib here. On the back of the basket. Um, that's it really. Uh, the castings look exactly the same. Uh, we've got the usual wear, pardon the swarf, we've got the usual wear in the uh, centre of the basket there, which was what was letting the, the gear rock about inside the basket. Um, just the same as we've always had. Uh, it's not really a proper bearing, it's uh, just left as it was cast in the manufacturing process and these bearings are just left as they are machined um, so there we are the castings are the same the Japanese manufacturer is the same FCC uh, this is actually a 2001 made no 2004 made basket um, the date in this one I would hope is 2013 2014 uh, can't make it out. The 13, 2013. So there we are. Um, no difference really. Same part numbers and everything. Uh, right, I'm going to take this uh, 2014 DLA basket away. Uh, modify the, uh, well I'm going to repair the problems that Suzuki have already built in. And then I'm going to perform the share like modification in it as well. Um, many people are copying my repair all over the internet in various countries around the world but uh, nobody actually knows what the actual modification is that stops the vibrations coming back eventually uh, which they will do if you don't do that modification um, so that's it I'll be back later to show you the uh, modified basket thank you very much <laughs>